just give me a second here. Just a second. It's not as simple as not being in love anymore. Eventually, it'll be the two of you having to figure this out. Together. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and with some movies I'm actually quite happy that I watched them at the comfort of my home instead of a theater filled with other people. This is one of those, because like Adam Driver's character in it, I'm someone who cries very easily at movies and Marriage Story really wrecked me. But I knew that beforehand and I was looking forward to it, because watching something like this alone with no need to hold anything back can be quite cathartic and therapeutic. But don't mistake this for a cheap, manipulative tearjerker. It's not. It's very down to earth, very naturalistic and there's also a lot of humor in it. And yet its extremely compassionate look at this married couple that's about to get a divorce absolutely destroyed me. Marriage Story is a drama that was written, directed and produced by Noah Baumbach, who went through a divorce himself. It had a limited theatrical release and is now available on Netflix. It stars Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver as Nicole and Charlie and it's a definite frontrunner for the already started award season. Baumbach begins his story in a beautiful fashion, in which he lets both his protagonists tell us in a voiceover montage about what they love about their spouse. The things they say are captured with a handheld camera and they are big things like being a good parent or being able to really listen. But there are also a lot of small things things that only the ones who really love us are recognizing. It's those things that are breaking your heart later on when you are randomly reminded of them. So at the very beginning of the film one could think this might be a really happy romance and if not maybe we start there and then see this relationship fall apart. But it's neither. The very next scene shows us Nicole and Charlie at a divorce mediator. Yes they are breaking up, they are getting a divorce and all the beautiful words we just heard from them don't even get said to each other because Nicole thinks the things that she has wrote about Charlie sound stupid. Marriage Story is an incredible film and a journey that will take a lot from you while watching, but a journey that's also very rewarding. It's a film about the stuff that really hurts and in all honesty coming from someone who has been single now for a while, I was equally melancholic about and envious of all the stuff those two people have built together and lived through. But on the other hand, oh my god, what an absolute nightmare their whole breakup and divorce is. And this is a couple that is still very fond of each other. They shared so much together and even if you break up, there are things and feelings that you can never take away. Of course, it also always depends on the relationship and the people. In this case, it wasn't just a decade of their lives together, but they also have an 8 year old son and they both want to make sure they are doing what's best for him. The best it's possible in this situation of course. One thing that is so heartbreaking about Marriage Story is that even though they both want the best, it's still so very painful and it's still an absolute hell to adapt to the new situation. This isn't so much a story about all the arguments and conflicts that led to their breakup. That's also in the film and I will come to it in a minute. But it's much more a film about two people trying to figure out how to deal with this giant change in their life. Charlie's a theater director and Nicole an actress. They both work worked and lived in New York City for the last 10 years or so. Now that it's over, Nicole wants to go back to Los Angeles where she lived before, where her mother and sister live and where she just landed a role in a pilot. She's taking their son Henry with her. Soon Charlie has to realize that it's not just this temporary move for the time of the shooting, but that Nicole seems to plan to stay in Los Angeles. When he gets served divorce papers, despite them having agreed not to involve lawyers, he has to go through all the motions to fight for his idea of the future. Now after my short description, one might think that Nicole is more to blame for all the heartache that's following, but a strength of the film lies in its ability to portray both Nicole and Charlie as normal human beings. Both have their wonderful sides and both have their flaws. And the film very carefully balances their perspectives out. You just feel with them so much. If there are characters you want to hate, it's the lawyers who will highlight all the mishaps of their client's former spouse. Ray Liotta and especially Laura Dern deliver strong performances here. Yet you can't really hate them. It's more the fact that things seem to have to go this way that's so frustrating. There just seems to be no other way around it and that's 
painful to watch. The film also really succeeds making Los Angeles this kind of nightmarish symbol for Charlie's struggle. New York and LA are on opposite sides of the country, almost 3000 miles apart. Everybody keeps reminding Charlie that it's so great there because of all the space. But for him it's only this inhumane obstacle that keeps him away from his beloved son. But it's also so heartfelt to see these two people who still try to do the very best they can. There are some moments in the film that are more direct than others. For example is there a scene in which both of them unintentionally pull at their kids hands from each side or one where both are shutting the garden door and with it both their faces vanish. But because overall the film is so natural and genuine these moments didn't feel forced but instead transformed me into a puddle of tears. And maybe I should have begun my review with it but now I'm putting it at the very end. Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver are to die for in this film. They give absolutely everything they have and it's heartbreaking. It's little things like a single tear that's running down Nicole's cheek when she's in bed. And it's big things like their big argument in Charlie's new LA apartment. Like I said this movie wrecked me and it all came so naturally. It's not flashy at all, just the story of a young family breaking up and trying to cope with a new situation. There's even quite a lot of humor to be found but it works because that is also just coming from the moments themselves and it doesn't feel forced. And I like that a lot because even if life is at its lowest for you at the moment, there can still be situations that are absurd, ironic or just simple fun. If I have one smaller criticism it's that some of Randy Newman's score felt a little bit too sweet for me, a little whimsical even. But just some tracks. So in German I'd say Marriage Story zeigt uns zutiefst menschlich und voller Mitgefühl was es heißt nach der Trennung die Scherben aufzusammeln und gemeinsam nach vorne zu blicken und das Beste für sich und sein Kind zu machen. I give Marriage Story 9 out of 10. It's more like 8.6 but I don't do that. Alright that's it for today, like always comment below and let me know what you think about Marriage Story. And also let me know what are your favorite and most heartfelt performances you've seen this year. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.